This is Tracy Hart on location for KHZ Radio Network, and you guys know how much of a daredevil I am, and you know I love anything that has some action. So one of the things that I am super excited about is coming to the Baltimore area on Saturday, June 8th is Monster Jam. I am really excited because I am sitting here with the driver from Gravedigger, Adam Anderson. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. I'm, I'm glad to be here with you and, uh, and to get this interview in. Let's talk a little bit of smack about this uh, event going on. <laughs> so we got to go going on here at the M&T Stadium here on June 8th, beginning at 7, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on before the show's started. It really is. We have uh, the pit party. It starts at 2 o'clock. All the trucks are out there, all the drivers. You can get up close and personal. Bring your kids out, your grandparents, whoever, whoever's going to come out, man. It's uh, all walks of life. You can come up there, check the trucks out, get autographs, pictures. It's really good time. A bunch of other activities going on. You can actually get a ride in some of the monster trucks. It's really cool. So are you saying that I could drive Gravedigger? I don't know about you driving Gravedigger, <laughs> but you can probably get a ride and Okay, well, you know, one of the things you said was that Gravedigger only has one chair. It does, but we actually have one there this weekend that's built just for that, and actually, I believe it has about 12 seats in it, so you can, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> we can ride some people in that one, no problem. <laughs> Let's talk about the fact that your father is the one who formed Gravedigger, who made Gravedigger. He did. He created Gravedigger in 1982, and the truck I'm driving is actually Gravedigger the Legend, and it's just an old-school version of Gravedigger. It's what it looked like in 1983, and at the time, it was his expensive of paint job on the truck and when you see it it's very plain it's very simple it's kind of like an old school hot rod and I think he paid about $750 for a guy with I think he had one arm to paint this thing <laughs> in, in a barn and uh, and, and it's grown from there to the truck you know today the black and green with the, the flames and the, and the a ten thousand dollar paint job that is just destroyed every time so but me driving that truck I can actually compete against my father who will be here this weekend too so it's a it's a pretty neat deal so we'll be competing against each other and all the other trucks. So that has to be kind of an interesting um, sitting around the dinner table talking about competing against each other. Uh, it really is. It depends on uh, it depends on what happened at the event, whether or not I'm going to go eat dinner at Dad's or not. So who's more competitive? I'd have to say. I, my dad probably is. You know, I, I I don't I don't get as hurt. I don't feel like uh, if he beats me because he's been doing it for 31 years now, so he's got an excuse. You know, or I have an excuse for so when he beats me. But if if I beat him, I haven't been doing it that long, so it's kind of like rubbing it into him, giving him an old elbow there. But it's uh it's still good. The competition between us is awesome. And then, but as the way we look at it, I have a younger brother that does it too, and and, uh, and the son of a digger monster truck, and it's pretty cool. He'll be there also, and we compete against all these other trucks you know so as long as one of us comes out on top that's what we like so this is a family affair it really is this is all I know it really seems like a, uh, a regular job to me even though I guess it's really not How, what, so what was it like growing up with this part of your life it was it was pretty crazy you know and, and like I said it didn't feel like it was crazy to me until I I really stepped back and looked at it once I was older to to meet kids at school and bring them to my house to come play and our shop was right next door to the house so they're like why are we here and I'm like uh, this is where I live and then they're like your dad is a great I'm like yeah and I was like well I mean that's just what he does let's go play in the dirt now so you know it was but it was uh definitely different we travel so much we get to see so many things and uh it's really cool. Now you are the youngest to ever win one of the championships? I am. Uh, I won the, my first championship in 2008 and that was in the freestyle portion of the show and just this past year I won the racing championship this year so it was, uh, was kind of cool. I kind of uh, I, I've topped it out on both sides but uh, the only thing you can do from here on out is to keep winning championships so that's what I, that's what I plan on doing. Now what is the difference between freestyle and racing? The racing portion of the show is like a bracket racing. There'll be like it can be 16 trucks. It, it's next year in Las Vegas. There's going to be 32 trucks there, and you just start from uh, you know you start all the trucks and you just start weeding them out throughout the bracket, and it ends up down to the last two. And we have a race course that we have, and you know somebody comes out as the winner. Then the freestyle portion of it, they do a little bit of change up on the track. They bring out some obstacles, motorhomes, school buses. We've had airplanes out there before, all kinds of crazy stuff. They put it on the track, and then we do whatever we can. Do. There's and there's different moves. Once you follow it a little bit, you'll see it. You got these wheelies. You got uh, you know big air. You got donuts. All this crazy stuff. And they actually we have judges that judge this competition and score you. And there's a bonus time in there. And it's all these things that come together. Um, and it's it's not an easy feat to take out. The, the hardest thing to not do is your truck break or you crash. 
before the time is up. And you, uh, everybody loves to see the crash, though, so you're a winner no matter what sometimes. But you love to come out on top. And if you win both of these competitions, they call it the double down. And that's, uh, that's really hard to get. Not many people get those. There's people that have been driving for 10 to 15 years, and they don't have one. That's what everybody's shooting for. Do you have any kind of like, do you prep before you go? You know, are you nervous? I, would, I just can't even imagine because it's such a tall truck and then be out there knowing that you might crash. And I mean, the adrenaline just has to be going. It really is. The only thing I can say that I do is I actually get in the truck, buckle in, not, not as tight as I can yet. And I just kind of sit in there and it's like almost like meditating, but I actually take a nap in the truck because I'm just so wore out from everything else. And I just need to save my energy because I know once I get that adrenaline pumping that my night, I'm going to crash not only the truck at the end of the night, but my body is going to crash too at the end of the night. So it's, uh, but it's pretty good. It's, uh, I don't have any, you know, no crazy rituals or anything. There's some guys that do, but I definitely don't. You know, I, I, I step on all the cracks and stuff, so it's no big deal for me. So what is your best memory of doing this? My best memory? It was probably winning my first championship, you know, and then also my, my dad was injured in, in 2007. He broke his shoulder, so I had to step in for him in his truck, you know, and it was going to these big events, and I'd only been driving for a year, and to go to these events in his truck and, and to win races and freestyle, that was the most unbelievable feeling for me. You have a nine-month-old son, and you showed me a video earlier. He's following in your footsteps. Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. He's uh, he's been to one event when he was really I think he was only four months old, and uh, he's nine months now. And, and we got him in training now. My my brother he actually bought me. He ordered it from somewhere in China. He said that it's a, a power wheels that is remote control, so I can drive him around. So he stands up and he's not even big enough that he can even sit in the seat. He just stands up and holds onto the steering wheel, and I drive him around the yard to get him started now. What we can do is you can put some little matchbox cars down there, and he's ready to go. Oh, he'll love it. He's going to tear them up. <laughs> All the people that are going to be coming, what what do you want to say to them? You know, the best thing is whether you've been to this event or not before, you know, it's you never know what's going to happen. That's my favorite part about it. I'm still a fan to this day. I sit in the truck, and I watch these other guys go and, and compete, and I, I'm in awe the entire time. And so you're never going to get the same show. Even if some of the same guys are back this year, they're not going to give you the same thing. We give it 110% every time, and uh, we're there to put on a show for you guys and to take home a win. Well, there you go. Well, I'm going to be rooting for you guys, of course. Well, you specifically, okay? All right, that sounds good. <laughs> but if you don't win, then I guess I'll root for your dad and your brother as well. That sounds good, as long as it's one of the Andersons, like I said. <laughs> All right, again, folks, you know where you're going to be on June 8th, Saturday, at the Monster Jam at M&T Stadium. Now, the show begins at 7 p.m., but the gates actually open up at 5, and the parking lots open up at noon. Now, there are different packages that you can get. Some of them let you onto the field early. You can ride in one of the trucks. It's going to be so much fun, and this is definitely a family event. This is something where you bring the family, the kids. There's stuff there for everybody. So all you need to do is just go to M&T Stadium's website. You can purchase tickets from there or you can go onto our website kgtv.com and we'll have a link to the tickets. Adam, thank you again so much for being here with us today. Thank you very much and uh, I was glad to be with you guys. There you go. I'm Tracy Hart on location with kgtv.com.